Hi everyone, welcome back and I have a really exciting tutorial for you since Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, I have made these really really cute watercolor candy hearts and I am actually selling them as clip art in my Etsy store. So I have made these with a new brush set that I actually picked up and it is fantastic. So I have an outline that you guys can use. Um, and normally I just draw my um, outline guide, whatever you want to call it, with uh, one of the preset brushes that Procreate has. So underneath the um, sketching or drawing, I'll usually use one of those. I'll also give you the palette as well that I've been using. Um, I tend to bounce around with colors and brushes a lot, so I hope you don't mind. It's just kind of my thing. So. I'm just going to show you these different brushes I got in this set. I got off Creative Market and I will leave a link down below, but this by far has been my favorite watercolor brush set and the paper texture it comes with is the best one. It is the most realistic one I have come across and I am using it for all of my watercolor Procreate art um, over the past month, I think, so it's been a while. but. Um, as you can see like all these different textures and there's only a few so maybe I shouldn't say all these different but um, these are really solid um, brushes and honestly these are the ones I'm reaching for every single day when I am making art in Procreate so as you can see they are just beautiful it's so easy to use I don't have to worry about it looking unrealistic or too digital um, so yeah, go check it out, but you can do this tutorial with any other watercolor brush that you may have. Um, there's tons of free ones out there online, just Google it, that's what I've been doing um, before I found this one. So I am just going to take the first brush that you see here and just outline and fill in my watercolor heart. Super, super easy, you don't have to push down or anything, that brush is not really meant for it. And then I'm going to take the same brush, reduce the size, and just fill in that shadow outline that I have there. All these uh, layers I am putting underneath my paper layer here because otherwise the texture won't pick up. So the way that they develop this um, watercolor paper is that you have to use all the colors underneath. So. I know I might be going really fast, but this one, I promise you, is really, really simple. So I'm just going to go in now and outline my lettering with this pink color, and this will be included in the palette as well. So right now I'm just roughly, roughly just tracing what I already have down for my outline. Um, so I personally like to use outlines in all of my work so then I can kind of use a reference and then lay down all the uh, different shadows, elements of the uh, work I'm going to create. And to really get that watercolor feel, because watercolor is um, not very opaque. Um, if you're looking for something that's opaque, you're going to want to use like a gouache um, in real life or a gouache gouache set in Procreate. Um, I'm going to be testing out some other brush sets that are gouache as well. As you can see, I have tons and tons and tons of brushes, but um, definitely try different ones out and see what you like. This one so far is my favorite for now. Um, also with watercolor, you're going to want to take that brush that blending brush it's kind of like a blending color brush but um, I used it for the white to bring out that paper texture and I also use it to smudge any hard edges and add color in um, it's going to really really give you that watercolor effect and blended because watercolors tend to blend if they're wet on wet in real life so just go in blend that out we're going to clean up our edges later, so don't worry about that if it kind of goes off of the outline that we have. So I like to go in and clean up anything with this preset Procreate brush. Um, 
Procreate comes with a lot of great brushes, so you don't even need to buy a brush set. Um, talking today is a little bit hard, but I like to clean up my edges with the watercolor one. Um, I've actually created some work with that watercolor preset brush, but if you're lo really, really looking to get really um, interesting and unique results, um, people have been putting out brush sets are amazing. So um, definitely go back in and crisp up any kind of lines that you need to. And I'm just going to go and analyze my work and clean up anything that kind of went outside that boundary that I'm not comfortable with because I like those crisp edges when um, say like you're making watercolor art and it kind of pools slightly and makes that really crisp edge so anything with that um, painting uh, blending brush definitely go back in and just crisp up anything that you feel like needs some um, a little bit of a boost and doesn't need to bleed off the page um, but yeah this is uh, one of my uh, probably quickest tutorials so far and uh, you only need like two three maybe four brushes uh, some tutorials have tons and tons but this is a really great one for beginners who are looking to get that really realistic watercolor effect so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was really, really fast, but this is honestly one of the easiest tutorials I've put out yet. Um, please uh, let me know what you think down below. And also you can find the resources for this uh, down in the description area so you can create your own watercolor, super realistic candy hearts. I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day and stay tuned for my next video.